Hello there, this is Mehreen Hashmi. And if you have been following my work, you would know, kind of know, or have an idea about my story and my vlogs that I talk about PTSD, my own sufferings, and my own struggles with mental health. And uh, the reason of it is the childhood abuse for my entire life. I was physical, emotional, and of course, I'm a girl. So you can imagine what else could have happened to a girl. The thing is that um, I follow a routine in my vlogs. I do mention my routine and uh, on my Instagram also I try to share my stories about the routine and everything. The mindful routine, the wellness that has been has been kind of cure for me. Um, why it's important for I, I mean for people with anxiety disorders and uh, depression. It's very important for you to have some discipline which takes care of you and in terms of um, being sane. What happens with me that I don't like to eat much. So if I'm not eating, the whole cycle starts with if you are not eating healthy, uh, then it, you know, your body needs more energy and uh, you start feeling weak and then you start feeling weak and then it triggers more anxiety and then your body cannot find it because there are chemicals you know endorphins and serotonin and all of that so you it's it, it is it is a chemical imbalance when you're stressed and when you are having a shock or when you are hurt or you are grieving and all of that it affects you physically as well so that's why when you um start your physical routine it affects your mental health as well that's why we are very much encouraged to do exercise and work out for your own self not for 15 hours you don't have to hit the gym for hours you don't have to look all beefy and you know all toned you just do it for your mental just sit, just skip a rope or do a cardio it because it it um fastens your heartbeat and then it you know it, it gives you an energy and it pumps you up so whenever I, uh, every morning I wake up, I have different routines. I don't go to the gym. I just go for a jog or a walk with my dog. And uh, considering if I have a long day, I just go for a very short walk or I just do. There are so many apps on uh, internet. So I have those uh, apps on my phone. So I do freestyle cardio or I do freestyle workouts. And it takes only seven to eight minutes. That's it. And the second I open my eyes in the morning when I like to wake up early if you are not a morning person you can wake up at night you can do it at night so do it what you like to do not what others are doing do it for yourself and then after that I wake up and I mean I meditate every morning for 15 minutes or half an hour 45 minutes uh, it depends how much I am time I have in the morning considering my day because I work full time or uh, when am I waking up because you know sometimes you sleep late and then you can't wake up so it depends on that as well. I like, I love my mornings, it gives me energy and every time. So I like to wake up early. Then after that I just you know do whatever workout I want to do and then start my day with a good, nice, heavy breakfast. This why I emphasize on breakfast because in my case I don't have anyone to take care of me. So. Yeah, I'm an adult. I'm 35 years old, but then I have been like that since a child. So you can imagine if you don't have anyone to love you or care for you or feed you or, you know, you have your mothers and fathers and sisters and all of those people walk, running around you and trying to feed you and you are taking them for granted. So go to them and then do, do pay your gratitude because I don't have that. I don't have anyone to you know care for me or love me or anything like that i do have friends but then you know the one person who i can rely on is me that's the whole reality so i've accepted that uh that's why and i love breakfast it's fresh and i love eggs and i love everything related with breakfast and breads and uh, fruits and everything yeah coffee i love coffee as well so that's why i have chosen one meal which i love the most and then i eat because then if i don't do that then i am very weak throughout the day and then my blood sugar goes down and then i'm working and it's stressful and dealing with the day and people and everything all by myself so it doesn't matter if you have help or not um you know the stress and the physical and labor and the emotional power it depends on me only so that's the thing and uh, yeah i'm proud of myself for being independent but it's difficult 
Um, the other thing is that after that, after workout and whatever, then I do my work and then I have a very strict routine because I had sleep problems because of nightmares and PTSD. I was, um, sometimes I did wake up in the middle of the night just crying because of the nightmares and uh, or having a panic attack or past traumas or new ones or things like that. It's not that I love to wake up in the night and then cry about it or people I had I had a couple of it's not easy to be friends with um, someone who has mental health struggles it's not easy you need a lot of understanding for being that person and socially I have had those struggles to communicate with friends that listen I'm not waking you up at 3 in the morning but you know just listen to me um, you can expect a person to be your friend and pretend to be happy and all of that and you know what's happening and everything and not being there it's just a matter of compassion and empathy so i'm surrounded by people who i can talk to when i am low and they don't judge me they don't overpower me they don't demean me they don't give me unsolicited advice they just listen and uh, it's a very human name you need to just talk to someone and i was expected okay i'm not going to those things but uh, yeah i was expected to just do all of it alone so no you are not supposed to do all of it alone everybody needs help when you are sick you're not supposed to take care of yourself so you, there are friends i also compensate i also balance as it it's not just i'm a taker so i also offer a lot that's how it is um but the whole taboo about mental health and all of that and the way people freak out and uh, call you names and all of that I have been that just fuck it up don't listen to them listen to me listen to this just have your routine so I go to bed early so I can wake up early and uh, it really helps me with my routine of sleeping I turn off my devices my friends my close friends very few close friends uh, knows that in fact a lot of people know that I am I go to bed early. I just turn off my devices even whenever I'm reading a book or uh, switching off my. Don't go to bed just thinking and then you know just trying to sleep because it really affects your sleep. So what I do is I meditate in my bed as well. I go for an hour because sometimes because you know it's night. So you can have extend your uh, time and it, I drift into sleep. It's really nice. I read or something like that. I switch off. Um, I talk to only very 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 few close friends that I would love to talk to and you know just chat and everything so that's what I do and then I wake up next morning very nice and fresh mostly your taking care of yourself is very very important no matter I mean if you're an adult if you're a mother if you're a father if you're a man providing the family and everything but just think about that if you are not there then what will happen to them and you are the source for them you are the provider you are the nurturer you are the caretaker so you have to take care of your own self as well and there is no harm there shouldn't be any judgments um I, I mean i have received a lot of things that oh you are alone and you are you don't have kids or whatever uh yeah but i don't have a family either i have to take care of myself i have to do everything even i'm sick or I have taken care of myself during panic attacks. I've get taken to myself to the doctor, to the ER. To uh, I have handled a car accident all alone, and uh, that's what have happened. I'm, I mean, I know my practical reasons, but emotionally, to talk, to be able to talk to a person, and who would not say that, okay, you just can you shut up and then talk to someone else. And if I'm not talking to a friend, then who am I supposed to talk? What's the point of having a friend if you can't listen to your friend or okay, don't give a shoulder or um, don't show any um, empathy or compassion but you are talking about your stuff all the time. So you know, I do listen, I am a good listener but uh, I am kind of learning to ask for it as well, ask for the love that I deserve, ask for the shoulder to cry on because I don't have to be a strong person all the time and they are, trust me, there are people who are there for me they're very few you find one in a thousand but you do and i have learned from my friends as well that uh, um my dog actually that uh, how to ask for love and how to just ask for love there is no there is no um nothing wrong about asking for love or you know or care or anything um 
I have asked for emotional support always and moral support always and I have had support for my work and everything and I'm trying to do that in personal life as well. So this is my routine. I eat, I have a uh, quick processed food because it really messes up with my stomach. I eat very fresh homemade, mostly vegan food. I do like meat but very less and it's mostly fresh and simple and earthy. Um, it really matters what you're eating because junk food and you know all the fast food also messes up with your um, system um, fresh foods you know if you eat clean uh, then it gives a good skin as well and otherwise it, it, it works with me my stomach is happy and not upset so I am fine and then that's how I that's how I go about it but I don't criticize other people if you love to eat go eat exercise and uh, meditate and uh, don't forget to work out it's really healthy for you that's how I do that I lost six kgs last year uh, just doing all of that because I was in a very bad shape I was miserable I was in counseling for three years every week and I was finding my source of um, keeping me composed and um, and then of course I worked a lot on myself on my patterns and triggers and all of that I'm writing a book about it all those details that how those incidents have affected my adult life uh, it does affect your adult life it does affect people around you and if you are a mother or becoming one so it does affect you as well yeah, there are a lot of things that we don't talk about in our society in Karachi, Pakistan where I'm living and where I'm from but uh, we need to and it doesn't mean that if it didn't happen to you that means that doesn't mean that you know it's not happening with you and about moving on from the past and everything you need to clear that mess a lot of people I, re I recently uh, received this message that uh, it's a uh, why am I sharing my story and why am I not moving on from the past I have I'm working on myself dude whoever you are this is for you so I am working on myself since last fucking 10 years since I moved out when I was 24 and then I'm trying to be a better person and you know, I'm trying to be a person who doesn't project on others, who doesn't get angry or frustrated or, you know, who can be an empath or a compassionate person who can understand others and who can have a peace of mind and have a wellness routine and do work better. All of this have improved my livelihood so much. It's a lifestyle. It's not a routine for me. Um, it has made me, I mean, practically and objectively as well a good person i can think through i can understand other people more um and i am sharing these all of these struggles to other people because there are so many people outside in our country in our city who are suffering in so many toxic relationships frustrating and suppressive households um girls and men also men are also suffering there is toxic masculinity there is so much pressure on them so just look around don't stay in denial or just accept the things happening around us and we need to address it and we need to talk about it and that's how it is that you know taking care of yourself and i had of course a lot of social uh, struggles as well so that happened as well so i do share a bit some details of those uh, things as well you know how to be with other people and how to listen that's how we can make a better society and a better world for other people so i'm not dwelling on my past i am sharing my story so others can also take some guidance from it um i had nobody i didn't know how to take care of myself how to break my patterns are red and i found out my my ways of uh, peace with myself and my I learned to uh, you know work out my struggles with my mental health people don't know about PTSD uh, it's called post-traumatic symptoms disorder you can google and development I have uh, developmental trauma it does uh, trigger at times if I'm not surrounded by good people so it has it own parts and everything the way we are living in this country otherwise you can easily search for it browse for it write it down on google and ask for google what is it about if you don't know it's very simple you can go to your phone and you know figure it out instead of um saying things about people who are already suffering so what else you can do just be compassionate and if you don't want to listen to it and if it's very heartbreaking for you at least accept that it's happening around you 
you could, just because it didn't happen with you doesn't mean that it's not happening with anyone else or be compassionate or um be understanding if you don't understand anxiety or whatsoever you don't know what other people are going through and if they are opening up to you that means it's an honor actually that person is putting their trust on you so take it or if you don't want to take it just walk your way and don't be uh judging judgmental you know what i mean I will see you soon. Uh, you can follow me on my Instagram and follow my mind routine. I do share uh, my eating habits, my workout habits. It's very simple but very effective. I like simplest things. I like simplest food. I wear very simple clothes. So I'm a very simple person. Life is supposed to be very simple uh, without drama and all of that politics and games. So take care for yourself and uh, have a nice day every day. I will see you soon. Much love. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm posting a new video for my other playlist called uh, Behind the Art Scene. It's about art and my work and the news with the art, um, art scene, Pakistani art scene and all of that. And my work is also um, a narration of uh, my emotional state every year. So you can visit my website and watch my work. It's for art activism. I will be soon publishing my book. Hopefully next year I'm working on it. So let's see. This is my work. You can see more of my work. Take care.